Hey guys, my name is Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, I'd like to thank you for stopping back again. And if you are new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. Today I'm going to be doing this beautiful fall inspired look. So if you want to see the products that I use and how I achieve this look, stay tuned. But also remember to subscribe to my channel. Okay guys, so for today's look is going to be a full on glam, glamorous, very glamorous, okay? So we're going to start off by doing our eyes. We're going to prime our eyes with the um, Born This Way Multi-Use multi Sculpting Concealer. In any case, I will leave everything that I'm using down in the description section. Um, I've already, did, did my brows, um, I put concealer underneath the bottom. And now I'm going to use this to prime my lids. This is a lighter color one, but I'll just use it to, you know, as an eyeshadow base. So whenever you're doing your shadow, you always want to put on like a concealer or if you have an eyeshadow primer on your lid, just to cover up your natural pigment in your eyelids so the shadows could show up more right so i'm just going to use a brush like so just to blend this out Getting another brush because that one wasn't blending out like I wanted to. Okay, so I zoomed you guys just a little bit in and I'm going to use to set that concealer, Born This Way, setting powder in banana. So I'm going to take the same brush. Set it. How is everything going with you guys? I hope everyone is well. I hope your family is well. And everyone staying safe. Okay. For this look today, I'm going to be using two palettes. I'm going to be using the um, Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. And I'm also going to be using the Juvia's Place um, Nubian 2 Palette, which looks like that. All right, from this one, I'm going to use this color for my transition shade. And I'm just gonna stick with this brush since I have it here for the time being. So your transition area is right in between your eyelid space and your your lid space. It's like in that socket in right in the socket there. Okay, that's all we're going to use for the transitional color and then from this palette I'm going to take this dark brown color here it's called Kenya and I'm going to use this brush to put that on my outer crease outer area here I'm just going to push it in even though it's a glam look not doing anything too crazy that you won't be able to follow along and if I'm looking off to the side I'm just have my mirror here OK, 
okay I feel like that brown is not as dark so in this palette I have a darker brown um, the name for this one is Mino that one here so I'm going to put that one instead that one has a little bit more pigment than the other one So you just want to push it in, like stamp it in. And then I'm going to go in with another brush. And I'm going to use the same transition color that I used at first, just to blend out the top part of this one. I need to zoom you guys in more. Let me try one little bit more. Now you're all up in my business, but it's okay. All right. Now I'm going to get a color to put on the inner portion. So we're gonna go back here and I'm going to use, use this color. This one is called Yay Y A A. I'm gonna put that right here. I'm going I'm going a little a little bit above my crease line just to make sure that shows once I open up my eyes like so you'll, you'll still be able to see it okay now I'm going to go back with the same brush that I used to put the brown just to put a little bit more. And you want to make sure that these two colors are married together so you can't see the line. My hair is taking up the whole camera. Now just on a napkin, I'm just going to take off the um, excess amount. I'm gonna go back with this first brush with nothing on there just to blend out the edge of this one. All right, so let's do the other eye off camera and then come back, okay? Okay guys, so the other eye is done. Um, we're going to prime our face now. We already put our moisturizer on from before. Um, this is the Milani. There you go. Milani No Pore Zone Primer. I mean, even though we're going, we're getting ready for a get together or, you know, if you're going out with friends, you still want to prime even though it's going to be colder in the colder months because you know some people still perspire so you know you want to make sure that you know we set our face and do everything else that we'll do in the summertime okay 
So we're gonna do a little extra step today. If you have any darker circles under your eyes, you want to use an orange corrector. I'm using this one by Black Radiance to color correct under my eye. It's a little darker. And then above my lip area, anywhere you feel like you have a little darkness. Because if you don't color it, then when you put on the concealer, it's going to show like kind of gray. Like kind of grayish, and you don't want that. You want it to look nice and bright. Okay. Now for the foundation I'm going to use today, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation in 4Y66. So I'll put that directly on my face. Alright, that should be good. And I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics brush. Push that in. It looks a little red or bright on camera, but just trust the process. Zoom me out so you could see. Today we're gonna put a little bit down here. Not on the whole neck, but. Not forget in between our brows. And um, I didn't conceal the top part of my brow. So let's do that now. using the same foundation to do so. If you feel like you need a little bit more coverage, just go ahead and apply it. Okay guys, our next step is to conceal. 
I'm using my Born This Way Concealer in Butterscotch. My favorite. I don't think you guys can see that, but everything will be done in the description section. You know that. Alright, I'm going to use that one. It's just to brighten up under your eyes. I'm going to put some on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, a little bit on my chin. And I'm going to put the, the, the other color, which is from the same brand, sand, right, just right here. Just a little bit. Make sure my eyes are really bright. Okay. Now we want a contour to, you know, snatch that face to make it look like, you know, we have extra high cheekbones, which I do already, but you know, you don't have that much, if your cheekbones are not that high, then you know, you want to, the illusion that you have higher cheekbones. This is the e.l.f. The Elf Camel Concealer. And I didn't even look at the color. This is Rich Ebony. Rich Ebony. Looks like that. And um, we're going to leave the concealer to sit for a while. The longer you have, you know, you make it sit, the more coverage. So I'm going to blend out my contour with this brush. This is an Elf Cosmetics brush. Elf Ultimate Blending Brush. So we're going to blend out down here first. And then I'm going to blend out my... Now to find the right place to put your um, contour, you could like suck in your cheeks and where you feel that it's hollow, like you put it like slightly above it. You want to make sure you know to lift your face. So my hollow is here. So I went like a little bit above it. Or where you feel the bone. And you want to blend going upwards. Alrighty, now we're going to blend out the concealer. I'm going to use my, um, Sheen sponge. Make sure your sponge is damped. So, yeah, mine is damp. Let me make sure. You can get like a paper towel and just squeeze some of the water out because you don't want it to be wet. You want it to be damp but not wet because if it's wet, it's going to be taking up the foundation of your face. All right, so we're going to blend out the forehead first. I'm going to blend out her nose. Chin. And you leave the under eye for last because you want more coverage under the eyes. Yeah, that's better. So you're not dragging the concealer, you're pushing it in, right?
everything looks brighter on camera. your nose right here make sure you get in this in the corners of your not up your um, nose okay and you go back with your concealer brush to blend out the edge of the concealer so you won't see the line of demarcation See how that's smooth and I look at that side and I look at this side. All right, blend up the sides to make sure everything is even. You can go back and blend out the edge of your concealer that you had on your forehead. Also, And now immediately, let me check this out here. That's good. I'm making sure I don't have any crease in before I set it. So immediately after you put on the Concealer you want to set it. I'm using my black radiant setting powder again I'm gonna put your sponge in take off the excess excess amounts and then push it in Push in wherever you put the concealer or set. Even though I didn't put any here on my smile lines, I like to set these for creasing purposes. All right, continue to set under your eye. nice and flawless right and I'm going to put put some on the side of my nose right and this is just to give the illusion that you have a slimmer nose than you do I'm going to put a little bit under my eye for a second and this is just as I put my um, under eye color. So when it falls out, it does not mess up my work. Make sure you get the size of your nose, guy. Alrighty. Now, we're getting there, right? We're going to get like a flatter kind of brush. I'm going to use this one. Hope you can see it. Okay. And I'm going to get a color from my palette. I think I want to go. Although this color is not like a matte color, I'm going to use that to put under my waterline. I'm going to get a smaller brush just like this one. We're going to put that right under the waterline. I use a smaller brush for less, um, less mess, less fallout.
like that. Okay, now that's done. We're going to put on some eyeliner. I'm using this one by, who is this? This is Eben. It's like a retractable one. Very soft and creamy. And I'm going to line my waterline. See the difference? Go tug on it a little bit if you want to. If it makes it easier, just tug on your lid a little bit. I apply these lashes. These lashes are Ardell Naked Lashes. Alrighty, and I put on some mascara. Now we're just going to brush off the, we're gonna set our face first. Sephora Micro Smooth Setting Powder Ebony. And I'm going to use my brush here. I really love this brush. I wish I could find it again. But I can't seem to find it. My favorite brush. So we're gonna brush off the powder with another brush. This one is just to remove the, just to set your face. Wherever you didn't put the concealer, we're setting that. Okay, and I'm going to use this brush here. Make sure I don't have anything on it. Okay, to brush off the setting powder from underneath the eyes. Okay. Like so. Nice and bright still. Alrighty. So we're going to set our contour now. The Black Radiance Cafe. And I'm going to use this brush. This is by Urban Studio. So I'm going to set wherever we put the cream contour, right? Which was here. Around the hairline. Jawline. And now let's contour this nose, baby. Contour the nose. So I'm going to use this brush. It's like a, um, not really flat, but. And I'm going to use the same powder. We're going to start right here. And I like to put like. And then I'll just blend it down to the sides. I mean, you don't have to do all of these steps, but I think you do all of these steps, you're gonna have like a snatch face, right? So. To me, I um, I learned to do makeup by, you can't do your face. You know, if you don't know how to do makeup, right? 
or if you're learning don't wait until you have somewhere to go to decide i'm gonna do my face today and you don't really know how to do it as well so what i what i did to learn to do makeup i would just on a saturday after i would clean the house you know finish doing whatever i have to do in the house i would just sit there and do my face as if i'm going somewhere even when i'm not really going anywhere and that's how you learn and you get better and each time you do it you get better you watch some videos and you just learn right but if you wait until you're going somewhere then you're going to be stressed and tense and that's not good so try to do your face when you have nowhere to go and that's how you learn Alrighty, that's how i learn i'm gonna put on some blush using this um, real techniques brush and using the juvia's place Bella take it to the back of my cheeks here apples and then back there you can always go back with your brush to make sure everything is blended out properly even my nose contour if I feel like it's too much I'll just go back with that brush and look at this mirror okay I think it's okay I like to bring it up to the front of my brow here to make sure everything is nice and blended okay now let's set our face. I'm using this Urban Decay All Nighter. I've had this for a while. You want to set to take away that powdery look. Alrighty, after setting, I'm going to use my MAC Oh Darling Highlighter to just highlight my face a little bit. And I'm using this BH Cosmetics brush number five. Put a little bit right here. A little bit right here. Okay. And then I'm going to take some down the bridge of my nose. This is how you fake a nose job, right? <laughs> Make it look like you have a little bridge here. Like that. And I like to put a little bit on the tip nose and blend it up with your finger and since we have this here I'll just use this to do in my inner corner just to give me a little pop open up my eyes a little bit It's time to do the lips and I'm going to be using my MAC chestnut pencil Okay, 
Now we're going to use this lipstick from Sephora that I used the other day. This is number 61. Like a natural color. I like to go back with my pencil. To clean up the edges. Alrighty. So that's about it and then just to put on top of that I'm going to use my Fenty Heat lip gloss put on top and we're done Okay, so we have come to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoy this tutorial that I have. It was very detailed. I hope it's not too long, but I would love for you to become a part of the family. So before you leave, please don't forget to like the video. If you like it, turn on your post notification bell and also most importantly, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed as yet, what are you doing? It's free, it's not going to charge you anything. And you know, I would really and truly appreciate it. So, I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other.